All right, happy Monday. Here we are. Coming to you on the confines, 446 Main Street. All right, we got three rounds of our warm up. We just started with our step ups. How are you guys doing out there? Did you guys sleep good? It is good sleeping weather. It was a little too warm last night. Put an extra blanket on the bed because of the night before. As we go from our step ups to our inchworms, you can you can probably skip the push up on these as we get push ups later. But you don't have to skip the push ups. Feel free to get them in. Just four inchworms, just four circle push ups. So extra push ups never ever hurt anyone. Unless they have shoulder issues. Yes, fall weather. Well, it's not technically fall yet, I know that, but second summer weather. Nice, crisp evenings, beautiful starry skies, just a lower humidity. Although it's still humid in here today. And uh, we're going to walk forward to back lunge. Third exercise on our warm up. Again, if you're doing this early in the morning, just take it slow. Get the uh, get that blood gently rising, flowing nice and smooth. First round of any warm up is always a crucial one. Just take it slow. Get that body used to that movement, especially early in the morning. Focus a lot on the breathing as we move to our circle push-ups. Now, just a regular push-up with that big old circle. Shoulder stretch, open things up. And we go to our jumping jacks, which cross the split jacks. Of course, you can do jump rope. We do lots of jump rope lately, so I feel all set with the jump rope for now. Double jacks are good, get that couple of different planes of motion. And moving on to your side lunge to instep. Good to have a little cardio in before these stretches early in the morning. You don't often want to stretch completely cold muscles, so. Having a little bit of that cardio ahead of time is is good. Now that the blood is flowing just a little bit, right? Some of the old joints, got some fluid in it. Make stretching just a little bit easier, a little bit better for you. Stretching the cold muscle, not so good. And then we got our side plank hip drop. Nice. Easy, you're on that forearm. And just a little drop of the hips. Kind of getting those obliques worked a little bit, warmed up a little bit. And then we gotta start over again. Back to the top. Back to step ups. Now the second round. Now we can get a little more intense maybe. Increase the uh, intensity just a little bit. You gotta find your intensity levels, right? Not all or nothing when it comes to working out. Especially in the warm up, you gotta really focus on just kind of slowly bringing that uh, intensity up. Working on that heart rate, gonna get a little bit more rapid. The heart rate definitely gets more rapid. And then once the blood is able to freely flow everywhere, sometimes the heart rate actually can come down a little bit. It's gonna pump extra hard in the beginning because it's got tight blood vessels all the way through. So the muscles are tight in the morning and the blood is, it doesn't get all the way to the end of the capillaries too well. So the heart is gonna pump extra to try to get that blood through. But sometimes after a warm up. The muscles open up a little bit, capillaries flow easily in the blood to the muscles, and then the muscles in the blood get taken away from the muscles. 
then the heart rate can kind of get into a little bit of a rhythm. And then that's when you know you're ready to go. Get that breathing in line. And that is why it's so important to warm up. Now that's, uh, I've heard uh, one of these nature documentaries. That's why you see cats stretching all the time, right? At least out in the wild. Sometimes you see a big pride. Yes, they're sleeping a lot, but they'll stretch a lot. And uh, it's because they always, well, they want to always try to be ready for that run, for that attack. I don't know if we've ever tried to do a, let's say, a full-out sprint after not doing any warm-up whatsoever. It's, it is very difficult. You really pull a muscle easily. The lungs start to burn way too much. I do not recommend it. All right. So we're through our, uh, most of our second round now. I missed all these exercises, but... You can either follow Sherry, you can follow the printed out sheet. We just finished our jumping jacks. Now we're on to our side lunge and in step stretch. The second round of these stretches, you can probably get a little deeper into your range of motion. All right. Hold them maybe a little longer. One thing I notice a lot of folks here kind of rush through their stretches quite often when I'm working out here with the group and we're doing our mobility complex. I am the last one finished. And I feel I'm probably more flexible than 95% of the people in the gym. And I say to myself, why is the most flexible person the last one doing the stretches? And then it, and it dawned on me. Well, that's because I work on my stretches a whole lot more than most people. So I get out of my soapbox for a few minutes and say, you gotta stretch more than you are. I can almost guarantee everybody listening to this video does not stretch enough and they know it they don't roll enough and they know it self-massage self-care it's very important to help prevent injuries to keep your performance optimal right all right that's it I'm off my soapbox as we are on to round three yeah. We are on step ups for round three. A lot of SK parents in here as well. SK going back to school today. My kids got a freshman, got a sophomore. I did not ever imagine my daughter's first day of high school being at our computer desk at home. But such is life. There are many worse conditions to have to go through in life. Just a small little challenge to have to overcome. And as most students will do, they will overcome it and they will get through it. Hopefully we continue to improve. These kids can get into actual school soon as we go to our inchworm. Now anyone listening to this, maybe you know me well and know how much I tout certain supplements. And I read another article this morning of the importance of vitamin D and in general to your health, but with this COVID thing, very important. Um, it wasn't in, in this article, but I have read before as we're on the forward to back lunge at each side that those with low vitamin D levels are more susceptible to get extra sick from COVID. Those with very high vitamin D levels sometimes don't even get it for very mild symptoms. And in the States, many people are vitamin D deficient as we move on to our circle push-ups. So vitamin D is a huge, huge, uh, seems to be, seems to be assistant in keeping you healthy in these times. So it's always been toted for good for flu season 
So I follow Dr. McCola, and um, he's puts out great articles all the time and with a lot of research-based articles as we go to our cross jumps, split jumps, jumping jacks. And uh, anyways, I was reading his article this morning again about the importance of vitamin D. Vitamin D, vitamin D. So pick up your quality supplements. If anyone's interested, I get mine from Dr. McCuller. I can always order. I have a wholesale account. I can always happily order more and get it to you if you need to or find your local vitamin shop that you have faith in. Get some high quality vitamin D. It's not that much as supplements go. So, alrighty. That's enough of public service announcements today your workout we're going to use us you're going to use us as your partner right it's a partner workout as we go through 12 exercises the first person on the list will do the goblet squats when they're halfway through goblet squats they'll give us the heads up and then the second person starts their goblet squats and it goes fast so you do 10 goblet squats and then you wait for your partner to finish the goblet squats. Then you start your clean and press. You're halfway done, you clean and press. You tell your partner, you finish your clean and press and then they get on and so on and so forth. So, all right, I've been talking way too much. Let's get these guys started. You show me as our partner. She did her 10. Now we go. We do our 10 goblet squats. Go ahead. Good control. All right. Elbows in. Head chest up. Hips to the knee. Get your 10 goblet squats in. We wait till. Oh, we're doing double goblet squats. And then when we finish our 10 goblet squats, Sherry will start her clean and press. She's on the clean and press. She'll do five on each side. When she gets halfway through, that's when we go. When I say we, I mean you. And that's it, halfway. Then you guys start your clean and press. Five on each side. All right, good strong clean. Little legs if you need to, to press that weight up. Feel the need to. Five on one side, five on the other. All right, Henry's got four, one more, five, clean and press. Then we go into our split squats. Oh, I counted wrong. There is five. All right, there we go. Now Sherry's got her split squats. We got 10 on each side. And halfway, all right, now we're up on the side, 10 split squats.
10 and 10, 10 and 10. For sure, finish her 10 on each side of her split squats. And she is waiting for Henry to finish all his 20 split squats. Before she goes, get low, get low, get low. Nice long spine, bend on those knees, and Terry's waiting, Terry's waiting. She goes, there we go. 10 swings, at least go by quick. Quicker than split squats, that's for sure. So now we are resting on our side, getting ready, and we'll see whenever Sherry switches. That's the switch, that's our cue, we're going. And one arm swings. All right, again, nice straight back, using those glutes. Try to bend at the waist. Only a slight bend in those knees. Push those hips forward. All right. Sherry finished her 10 each side. Getting ready for her dumbbell plank walk up drag. As Henry finishes his 20 one arm swings. Ready? Set. Go. Plank walk up drag under. 10 of them. When she gets to five, that's when we, you, Start your plank walk up drags. And we're going. We got our plank walk up, 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 down, down. Drag that weight under. We got 10 of them. Good strong plank walk up, right? On those forearms, on those hands. Lots of mobility in those. Shoulders. And 10 of them, up, up, down, down, drag. Once we're done with our plank walk up drag, Sherry moves on to leg drive. Now this is a lot more rest than we normally do, so we'll see how these guys hold up. We've we built up such an intensity over here without a whole lot of rest period of our workouts as we go on to leg drives here, 10 on each side. But sometimes it's hard to rest for these guys. So it's an encouraging way to go a little bit heavier, get a little more intensity going. If you're gonna rest a little bit more, encourages this partner to go maybe a little bit faster. But I think after one round, I'll kind of enjoy a little bit of extra rest. All right, so Henry's on his second side of leg drives. Sherry should be on her bottom half Turkish getup. Here we go, five aside, shoulders up, hips up, back down, back down. That's it. I think people really like the bottom half Turkish getup a little more because they yes, it does go by faster. That's probably the most stated reason why people like it better. Faster makes it easier. Oh. Here we go now. Sherry switches sides and then we start up on this side. After Turkish get up. All right. Hey, let's make sure we keep watering ourselves. I'm just grabbing my drink. It's always good uh, for me to remind you to hydrate as well. Since we're already sitting down, stay sitting down. Because next up are our B up leg drops. I did that on purpose. So that way you don't have to actually get up off the ground. You can spend more time resting. Or some people like to get up and shake it out. But yes, the key is, is to get yourself in that position, to get yourself ready so there is zero lag time. As soon as that partner is done, you are ready to go. And that's the purpose of this one. It's be on top of your partner, be quick in your transitions. Now you want to limit that rest as much as you can. Be ready to go, be ready to go. There we go, 20 of our V up leg drops. The key with this one is keeping that chest forward, long spine, hands up in the air. All right. 
right now. Henry Zahn is the up leg drops. And as soon as he's done, boom, right into your 20. Ah, ankle tap, squat jumps. Tap a jump, tap a go, tap a go. Here we go. She's got a 10. Henry goes his 20. That's it. That's it. You know, we're doing 20 of these, so it's not a max jump by any means. So I'm getting that rhythm, I'm getting that rhythm. Tap those ankles and pop, pop, pop. Nice soft landing, nice soft landing. Next up is going to be our seesaw, dumbbell seesaw. All right, one leg is on the ground. We lift the opposite leg and we lift the opposite arm from the leg that we lift. That's it. Ten of them per side. Keeping it the balance thing, it's a deltoid thing. I'm trying to think lateral, medial deltoid. Shoulder, there it is. Weight does not have to be too heavy on this. This can even be used with a band. Tell you a small little uh, stretchy band, put it on your foot. Try to raise it up. That's a good way uh, to do this as well. All right. Seesaw next, going to our bottoms up Russian twist. So if you have a kettlebell, the goal is to hold on to that bottom. Uh, sorry, hold up, hold on to the horns, the handles, with the bottom facing up. And you want to try to now touch the bottom to the ground. So it's a little extra twist action. And you got to tap it, tap it. So Sherry is not doing it. That's fine. A little extra if you can. This one is fast. Yes, it is fast. And rush and twist, bottoms up, goes fast. Maybe we go heavier next time. Here we go with our burpee box squat jumps. Let's see it. Burpee, box squat jump. Whew. All right, now she's skipping the push up, which is totally fine. Don't be afraid of the push up. There we go. There we go. It's only 10. It's only 10, it's only 10. All right, all right, all right. Moving through, moving through. Good pace, good pace. Where did we start? I can't remember when we started. That was a fast warm up. So is that 15 minutes? It might have been, might have been, it might be. 15 minute rounds. I don't know. Time is flying by. I can't be just 15 minutes. Not sure about it. That is the finish of round one. Now I suggest that these guys they can switch partners. That makes it a little more intense if they want to. See how they do. See what they do. 10 box squat jump burpees. Whew. Nice, nice, nice. Now, if you got no boxes at home, regular burpees are fine. Get an extra jump in there, it's good. That was round one. Let's see, Henry start round two. Here we go. Henry starts round two as Sherry flies in there with an extra kettlebell. Henry's now the partner one as he will do his 10 squats. He gave the heads up and now Sherry starts her 10 squats. So do you want to be partner one or partner two? Your choice, your choice. Be a little easy to stay as the second partner. So you'd be doing it when Sherry goes or if you're partner one, you're going with Henry now. we got clean and press. Five side. Dumbbell, kettlebell, either way works fine. But just get that rhythm. Again, it's only five a side. We can work maybe a little heavier. If you got a couple options at home, go right ahead. Go heavier. There we go. All right, 
back. Clean and press, moving on to our split squats. Dumbbells, split squats, you can use a kettlebell, you can use any weight, you can use no weight. I just wanted to change it up a little bit. But we got 10 split squats on each side. So if you're sticking with the uh, partner one, you're doing them with Henry. If you're sticking with partner two, he's just about done his first 10. And switch, here we go. Partner two starts their 10. All right, get it done, get it done. Nice job, nice job. Now those that sometimes, a lot of people are doing these workouts at home without watching the video. They just print the sheet, that's fine. They know how, they know all these exercises and they go as we are going on to our one-arm swings. Partner one is on one-arm swings. Uh, without the partner to go back and forth from, hmm, how are you gonna do that? Uh, I bet a lot of people will just work straight through, get in three rounds. Others, I know, uh, maybe have a partner they're working out with at home. Well, that's helpful. As we switched sides, so our second partner is now doing one-arm swings. But if you're home by yourself, use the video. Use us as your partner. All right? Feel like you're part of the gym. You are part of the gym, but feel like you're in the gym. How's that? All right? Even though you guys aren't in the gym, you are still part of the gym. Don't ever forget that. Right, guys? One big community here, working hard, staying healthy. All right, plank walk up, drag under is next. Part of one is doing our walk ups. Ten reps. Well, let us know at five. Get ready for partner two. Get ready, get in that plank position or semi plank position, and we go. Partner two now doing their walk up drags. Partner two, Sherry's finishing up those plank walk-up drags. Partner one, Henry, get ready for those leg drags. Here we go. Got to get right on it. Get right on it. No hesitation. You almost want to finish. You always want to start that next exercise before your partner is even finished. Quick transitions. Quick transitions. That's how we get extra rounds in. Here we go. We got our 10 leg drives in. Yeah, we switch sides. And partner two goes. Now you don't get steps. Just do like a leg drive. It's fine. Just go a little like a reverse lunge leg drive. Works just the same. All right, partner one, get ready. Turkish get ups. Leg drives go fast. Here we go. She's done. We're on to our half of get ups. Not a fast exercise, so we got to get to it fast. All right. Nice work. About control here, keeping that arm straight up to the ceiling. Lots of core to get ourselves up. Squeeze those hips up. All right, Sherry is ready to go. Partner two, ready to go. And that's it. We got halfway through. Partner one, switch sides. Oof. A lot of pressure, partner one. Now they got to keep moving. Don't want the partner two to catch up to them, do they? Partner two, working hard, getting the five on each side end of there. Turkish get up. Now again, don't want to partner, don't want to wait for somebody, don't want to hold anybody up. You can just go through this on your own, right? Take breaks as you need it. And just find a pace that works for you. All right, partner one finished their Turkish get-ups. Getting ready for the V-up leg drop. Good spot to rest. Get ready, oh, he's ready, she's done. We're on, that's the transition I like to see. He was doing two reps before she was even done. That helps push your partner a little bit. Oh, that little hand gesture. 
Partner one is done, partner two starts. V up, leg drop. It's not a fast exercise, right? You want to slow it down, just forward. Ten of those on each side, 20 of those. So we got our ankle tap squat jumps. Get ready, here we go. Bang it up. Tap those ankles, little pop, little pop, little pop. Partner one, more than halfway through. Partner two, started. Nice job, nice job. Bang through those squat jumps. Don't want to jump? Stick with squats. That's fine, that's fine. Modify as needed. Seesaw is next. The leg that's on the ground has the dumbbell in it. And that arm raises up. Stay nice and tall, nice and strong with that foot on the ground. Like a tree, tree pose. As you lift that opposite leg, keeping that balance. Partner one is just about done 10. Switch sides. Partner two, working their 10. Nice work, nice work. Ooh, raising that arm. Get those deltoids, shoulders working. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Next up is our bottoms up Russian twists. Wanna take it slow. Take it slow. I put 10 on there as a reason to go slow. Bottom is up. Try to touch that bottom to the ground. That makes it so much harder. It goes fast. There we go. There's yeah, the bottoms up tap that I wanted. Now we got it. Now oh, Sherry's doing it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we finish up with the burpee BSJs. Only 10 of them. All right, my goal with this one is just, if your hands are on that box, you do that big old uh, kicking those feet back. You can do that push up. And five of them before part of two starts. Here we go. I think that's five. Boom. All right, that was a quick round, man. That was a quick round. That was a good. That was a good ten minute pace, maybe. Maybe we will get four rounds in. Maybe we'll get five rounds in. I don't know. Maybe the five a.m. class was slacking. They said they only got three rounds in. Oh man, maybe they counted wrong too. Five a.m. is early in the morning. Maybe they totally forgot about a round. Uh -huh. I am not slacking at 5 a.m. Let me tell you that, people. Anybody who gets up to come to a 5 a.m. workout is never a slacker. All right, well, that's two rounds down. We get a little extra respite in here, apparently. Like, I guess there's not enough rest in the workout for these guys. Now they're going to switch it up again. Move Sherry to partner number one. As we go to ground three with our goblet squats. Here we go. Nice deep breath. Let's do it. Down three. Partner one is Sherry now. You got to follow along with Sherry. Be partner one, or are you going to be partner two with Henry? Five. And here we go. Ten for partner two. Clean and press. Five and five. Partner one is just about done. They're five. Partner two, get ready. Here we go. All right. Sun is starting to come up in a little haziness. It's a very unique kind of, very unique look out to the sky right now. Very pretty, very pretty. All right. Five on each side. Here we go. Second half of our clean and press. Now we get that rhythm going. Now we get that rhythm going. As soon as he's done, we're on to our dumbbell split squats. For Sherry, partner one. Ready? Set. And go. Partner one. 
Foot squats. Ten aside. Okay. Keeping that spine nice and long. Keeping our balance. All right. Wait on that, lot on that front heel, on that back toe. Ten and ten. Here we go. First ten done. Nice job. First half of the second person's split squats are done. They're on to the second half. All right. I know everyone works out at different paces and different exercises go at different rates for everybody. So um, why this is a very unique workout. You know, sometimes you're going to be going with more rest, sometimes with less rest. It all depends. Very unique workout. As we're moving on to our one-arm swings, we're hoping you guys are enjoying it. Again, if you are, we appreciate any kind of comments on YouTube, on Facebook, even replying an email. Let me know you're still enjoying these. It's still motivating you. Hopefully, you guys are staying in great shape, staying at home. We want to make sure our tribe is healthy. The healthier you are, the more likely you are to not get sick. Right? That's what we're, we're going to do. Stay healthy, not get sick, not deal with any of this crap. All right, one-arm swings. Front of one is done. Front of two is just about done. Next up is our plank walk-up drag under for partner one. Ready, set, go. Are you partner one or are you partner two? Where are you at? Halfway through, partner one, partner two, starts their plank walk up drags. Here we go. Nice work, guys. Nice work. Nice work. Where we at? Where we at? What time we got? All right. All right. All right, now we're stepping up. Like walk up drags, partner one is done. Partner two is just about there. Partner one moving on to the leg drives. Next, you want to be ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. Ready, set, go, 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 go. Leg drives. All right, this goes quick. Partner two, get ready. You want to try to drive that knee up. Try to get some height off that box if you can. There we go, that's it. Partner two is on. Ready to go. Bang those out, bang those out. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Up next, turkey get up, bottom half style. Get ready, partner one. Those leg drives go fast. Grab that kettlebell, get it down. Here we go. Bottom half of our Turkish get up. Times five. Get that nice hip squeeze. Nice strong on the shoulders. Lots of obliques in this one as well. I like to do one shoulder at a time, get some little extra oblique work in. Halfway, halfway. Part of two, grab that weight. There we go, bottom half. Turkish get up, just about done. Second half for the second partner. Get ready, partner one, for a V up leg drops. Be ready to drop. That's it. Good position for partner one. Nice job, Sherry. Feet up, hands up, and we drop. Good control. Good control. You're ready to go. 
And you go, partner one. That puts the pressure on partner two to be ready to go. Here we go, partner two. There be up, leg drops, breathing. Make sure we breathe, chest forward. Rarely want to work on pushing the chest forward. Make sure we have that good spinal position. Don't be slacking and, and round the back. No round the backs on these. Come on now, come on. And we go to our ankle tap squat jumps. Good, good, good. Nice job on those squat jumps. 20 of them. Part of one is done. Part of two is just about there. Part of one to dumbbell seesaws. Ready? Steady. Here we go. Right to it. Right to it. Good transition. Good transition. That's the way to work. That's the way you work off your partner. Anticipate, anticipate when they're done. Get ready to go. Get yourself set up. Part of one is on dumb dip, dumbbell seesaw, ten each side. And switch sides for partner one. Partner two goes to it. Great guys, the guy is doing great. Finishing up round three. Seesaw is done for partner one. Get ready for your bottoms up, brush and twist. If you're partner two, you are just about getting done with your seesaws. Ready, partner one, set, Oof. and go. Nice, slow, controlled. You can be really nice, go really slow, give your partner a little time. The slower you go, the more that core works. Nice. Really take your time. Use those obliques. Keep those feet up if you can. Get ready, partner one. Burpee box squat jumps. Here we go. Ooh, moved up to three boxes. Now we're getting more intense. Well, the higher the boxes, the easier the push-ups are, though. So you got that going for you. All right. Partner one will get the five in. Let us know. Partner two, getting ready to go. All right. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Banging it out. Banging it out. Yeah, I bet. I bet the five in was just mistook. They probably got in four rounds. No problem. There's no way they didn't. We're finishing up our third round, and there's still 15 minutes left on the clock. Woo. Nice job, nice job, nice job. All right, if you're doing that partner switch, you were partner one in this last one, you'll be partner two on this next round. Awesome, awesome work, guys. Awesome work. Woo. All right, we're taking an extra breather. Take an extra breather. All righty. These guys ready or what? A lot of people out there ready. Come on, here we get up. You're up. Goblet squats up next. Deep breath. Get that weight. Here we go. That's it. Part of two. Ready to go. All right. Part of two is started there. All the squats. Part of one. Get ready. Clean and press. Coming up. Then the front of one is done. Now we're at the end of this workout. Let's increase that intensity. Here we go. Clean and press. Part of two. Almost done with that clean and press. Part of one. Split squats. Get ready for them. Get ready for them. 
Oh, partner two is, I got my partners mixed up. Sherry's partner two. So she's getting her queen and presses in. Tough to keep track of. Tough to keep track of. All right. Henry's just about done. Clean and press. Uh, he's getting ready for the dumbbell split squats. As Sherry finishes up. Clean and press. One more. Here we go. Split squats. All right, we've done 10 each side. We're doing 10 each side. Split squats. We did our first 10. Part of two is on for their 10. Two, finishing up 10 split squats, partner one, get ready, one arm swings, here we go. Partner one, get the one arm swings, halfway through, partner two, grab that kettlebell, one arm swings, get ready, here we go. Swings are done. Next up, your plank walk up drag. Uh oh, I think we need a music change. It usually means if I get Sherry that close to the camera, she's going into the computer. Time to change the music. Too slow for her. Maybe. There it is. Uh, never mind. People ask me to change the music. The music is a huge part of it. If you're not feeling the tones, let me know. We'll change it up. Hopefully, you guys at home can't hear that music. That means YouTube won't block me in my video. Where are we at? Plank walk up drags. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right. We got plank walk up drags. We got leg drives coming up next. All right. It's time for lightning round, people. Lightning round. We got 10 minutes left in our class. I'm going to go flash the lights and let everyone know we go with no stopping now. Finish it up. All right. See if you can't get a full round in. Make this four and a half. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I mean, I want you to go super fast. I just mean go through without any rest. All right. Get it done now. Get it done. Around our half Turkish get ups. Pressure on you guys now. Turn up that pressure. Right. 
not meaning for you to go fast, just taking out the rest period, make this intense workout is a little more intense there at the end. You got it though, you got it. Come on, half Turkish get up. Be up leg drop, be up leg drop. Slow control, still not going fast. Taking the time, keeping those feet up, chest forward. Ankle tap, squat jumps. Mm -hmm. Popping them up, popping them up. Good work, good work, good work. Nice, nice, nice. Seesaw. Right to it, right to it. Nice job, nice long leg, long spine, lifting that leg, lifting that arm. Good work, guys, good work, good work, good work. Let's push through here, finish up this round, finish up this round. Nice job, nice job. Russian twist. We're gonna finish this up. We're gonna finish this round up. Here we go. Bottoms up, Russian twist. That's it, that's it. Pick that weight up. Eye level. Come on, come on. Get through it, get through it, get through it. And then we finish on burpee box squat jumps. Here we go. Make it count, make it count. Last 10. There we go. For every box by jumps. Ten good ones to finish. We'll call it a day after that. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Bring it on home. Bring it on home. Finish strong. Finish strong. Get done. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. All right, guys, as we wrap up this workout again, another happy Monday to you. Hope you liked it. Have fun with the rest of your day. Woo. Enjoy knowing that you just got a seriously intense workout in with your partners right here in the gym. Maybe you had a partner with you at your workout. But either way, you know that you're not alone. We are always here for you guys. Thanks again so much. Awesome workout. Awesome job. Have an awesome day.